Many people are picking up the Godot game engine and creating awesome projects with it. Others are learning how to use it and sharing their knowledge with us. I've been looking for people doing just this, and here are seven of the best which I found this week. Game, game Dev, Dev Journey. Journey. This is not a tutorial, but every now and then I stumble upon someone doing something remarkable in Godot, and I just have to share it with you. Such is the case with Esmerizer. He's busy with his little hobby project using open source tools like Godot, Blender and Gimp to create a spectacular place he calls the Shattered World. This is really impressive. It's a showcase of Godot's potential as a 3D engine and I would encourage you to visit Ez's channel to watch more videos of his game and encourage him to post more frequent updates. DJ Mason is making a high quality looking FPS game in Godot. I'm really impressed with just how much work has been done on this FPS project so far and how good it looks. It's another feather in the cap for Godot's 3D capabilities and shows just what can be achieved with skill and determination. DJ really deserves our support. I would love to see this project come to life. So head over to DJ's channel and subscribe now. If you want to learn how to rapidly prototype a 3D scene in Godot in three minutes or less, then Bo Seymour has got you covered. In this episode, he uses his Curve Terrain plugin and the Spatial Gardener plugin to rapidly prototype a beautiful 3D scene with mountains, trees and a lake. That's not all though, as Bo has a whole host of Godot game dev content on his channel. So if you don't want to miss out, you should head over there now and subscribe. More amazing Godot shader special effects can be found on the channel of Kex Tex. This time it's a rain puddle shader in Godot 4. The great thing is that Kextex has made this available to the community to use in their projects. Kextex is quite a wizard when it comes to shaders and his channel is full of amazing things like rustling leaves and backlit foliage. This is quite a discovery and a treasure trove for Godot devs, so check it out, it's amazing. Game Dev Simplified has released the third installment in the Pixel Fishing Game tutorial for those of you who've been coding along. Of course there's a ton of other game development resources and tutorials on the channel, most of them done in Godot. So this is another great find and one for your list for sure. A particularly good playlist for those new to game dev and coding is his Learn to Code with GD Script one, so go over and give it a try. Another resource for Godot developers is the channel called Game Development Using Godot. There's a lot of interesting content here regarding the work he's doing in Godot and the channel presenter is quite a character. Check it out if you want to find out what I'm talking about. Finally, Apocalyptic Phosphorus has been releasing Godot tutorials on a pretty regular basis, covering topics like 3D simulated gravity and RTS cameras. But today, he has a tutorial on creating 3D lines in Godot. I'm always happy to see new people sharing their knowledge of Godot, so I would encourage you to support them by watching and liking their videos and subscribing. That's all for this week. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you all again next time.